Good morning, folks. Plenty to discuss today. Something to check out if you missed it last night, and a brutal weather disaster in Indonesia. Let's begin at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star were very quiet. Bright region lacks significant sunspots. Thin dark line running near it is a plasma filament. The larger dark patches would be the coronal holes, currently turning out of view. Now, while they may offer more intensified streams of solar wind in the days ahead, this morning the field is dropping intensity. Middle panel in purple crested, and the solar wind speed is now in decline. We did have a stealth CME release on the western limb, not coming at Earth and nothing to see closer in or near the surface, but a large-scale field loop pinched out and released. Can even see a portion of the plasma drop back towards the sun afterwards. Folks, it looks like a tsunami hit Indonesia, but it was flash floods and landslides triggered by torrential rain and, yes, a few magnitude 5 earthquakes. That was all it took, and for the nearly 100 dead, the deluge came first from the sky and then from the side. Let's begin the link coverage today looking at a relatively newly released solar forcing text. Indeed, the sun is in the process of scaling down its output, and in history, that has been a cold, bad thing. Close-ups of asteroid Bennu here. Remember, they have landed there and are hoping to bring back a sample that would bolster funding for asteroid mining missions, and which hopefully doesn't have some dormant alien cells inside like the movie Life. Terrific posting on Archive that will appear in Minras. An ideal and turbulent magnetic field set up an examination of the launching and protostellar jets. Stars can indeed gear up those celestial lighthouses to shine as brightly as some of the jets at the galactic level. Also have a nice north-down looking shot through the spiral there. Our last two article postings are part of the Astro 2020 proposals. I have found most to be underwhelming or wastes of time for dark matter, but some are great and this is one of the ones that has the potential to spot diffuse covert matter of the cosmos. This one can do the plasma and hotter structures, and there is also a simultaneous proposal that would be able to resolve cold filaments, full baryon density within them, etc. Last night, I posted Dr. Robitaille's talk from the conference. It is one of his better presentations. I realize it is 80 minutes long, and if you don't have time to watch it today, would you mind at least popping in and thanking him for his work? These professors deserve it, and they come talk to us here on the channel and at the conference because they believe people are interested and appreciate their work. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now it's 4 20 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone